You know, don't you? I did f sex you, Red. Party world. <laughs> Yo, we got to talk about this man, Aiden Ross, bruh. And him and Sexy Red getting the nasty going, boy. Nah. <laughs> So look, man, we talking about how Sexy Red and that man, Aiden Ross, basically just had a little convo. And it was during an academic stream where Aiden and academics were talking and they were asking about what he messed with, you know, Red. Huh? I want to announce something, but I don't know if I should say it. Say it! You know, don't you? I did Sexy Red. Okay. okay, there we go. Some truth. How was it? It was good. It was really good. And an aid basically was real sly with it. Like, you know, bro, like, why are you doing all that? Like, you already know, I'm sure you know. And I was like, nah, I, I don't know nothing. And he tells him the truth. And so this is so crazy, bro, because now she's coming along. First, she was joking around and saying, oh, Nah, you you was a VV and I had to take your card. Like it was a paid bread, woody woo. Then that's when he come out saying, "Oh nah, I, I didn't pay a thing. You just knew what it was. Stop playing with me." She was throwing it back. You could handle it. Nah, she was kind of being the dominant one. Y'all yeah, gonna be honest with you. When I seen it, you, you seen that state for her drop. Like it's I always just chicks. I, like I, I jerked off to it. And that's what made me hit her up. You're lying. Nah, I'm being for real. You don't like black girls though. I do. I think you're intimidated by black women. <laughs> I'm serious. No, I'm not. You have a Latina fetish, and that's a fact. Do follow. Do you know that? Basically, Aiden saying he pulled rank, and so they he's saying that, and then Red changed her whole tune. That it didn't happen. Survey says cap. Now look, if it is real or isn't real, that's whatever. I'm not trying to do that to shame Red. I'm very happy that she just had a beautiful young kid. I'm very happy that she's having a very good year. Had probably one of the top five rapper best years last 2023. Like let's let's really keep it a buck. Sexy really had a top five rapper 2023. Out of the rappers in 2023, the amount of hits she had, viral songs she's had, and collaborations with the biggest she's had. It's it's a it's let, let's not even do that to you know let's let's respect at least if you can't respect her for her quality or music or whatever at least respect the dominance that she did let's respect a woman in her craft so it's real crazy because this man Aiden is just saying that he got the sauce he's basically saying that Red was saying whatever she's saying right now but he's saying that he didn't even pay no bread and honestly Red that's making you look really crazy right now bro you just gave it up to that man Aiden. Now, I'm not on that type of time. Whether you like what you like, love what you love, all complexions, you know what I'm saying? I ain't on that. But I'm saying of all the people, bro, of all the, scratch that, all the all the rich people, bro, of all the rich people, bro, and bro is who you chose, fam. Because honestly, at first, I wouldn't even want to believe it. I thought it was kept off the jump. But then when she said the bread thing, it already made me feel like, okay, I guess everything he's saying is true. And if he say he ain't getting no bread, Aiden... Admitted to giving that man Playboy Cardi two million dollars. He admitted to a two million dollar finesse. He broke that down. He he admitted to when he was finessed and taken, but the card scam with Twenty One Savage too. Remember the card scam where Twenty One Savage it came on Aiden Ross's stream and he came with a few cards to play some gambling and they were playing big bets and eventually he ended up losing a quarter of a million dollars, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and. Basically, Aiden in the the chat of thirty to fifty thousand people said that the cards had obvious marks on them and obviously scratches on them. And when they looked at them, there were obviously marks and scratches. So Aiden has never been one to just ignore or lie when he's been finessed. Like he at least he's been honest about what he's done, and you know, basically never really got caught capping. But survey says, bro, alarm going off. Bro, I had to just think about that. He really hasn't really lied about when he's get caught capping, bruh. It's really crazy, bruh. And to see him say something this serious, bruh, that she didn't even get no bread. Now, look, whether she got bread or not ain't going to change the fact that nothing. I'm not saying that, bruh. I'm just saying on a, on a, on a, on a real level, bro, like red, bruh, you don't want to like that's crazy devaluing yourself, bro. Like crazy levels, bruh, like 
bro is a streamer dog no hate to my streamers i love streaming streaming is an amazing platform but i'm saying streamer is in this is someone that you clearly don't really care for on a personal level bro that means that you most likely aren't just attracted to bro just to be attracted to bro if you are cool but it feels like you only rock with bro for the bread so i'm saying that like gold digger mentality like the way i'm looking at streaming right now is the way i'm looking at gold digger mentality like you only rocking with bro off that because i don't know any other level of relation they would ever have if it wasn't off of that off the money on love to my streamers again but i just feel like this just look real scummy bro and i feel like aiden is the type to do something like this bro i feel like aiden's whole perspective like his whole air of himself has changed three years ago aiden was looking like that guy like the new up-and-comer doing big things figuring things out being one of the first pioneers of all this stuff and now you look back at bro and folks looking at him like he's a goofy bro they taking advantage of him and stealing all his money they're taking when taking and taking and taking whenever they feel like it it just seems like this man aiden has become a shell of his former self and i always try to question and wonder why like what happened to make this man change everything about himself and basically become basically this dude that seems like he's off off something people be saying that he'd be off that off that off that white girl during the stream and be, there, i've seen a few montages of him bothering his nose and i'm like bro like this is alarming fam i'm not even super tapped in with all of your content but to see something like that as a fan must be very very saddening bro and it's clear you know he's just on the grind he's just not stopping like he's locked in but it's crazy to think about that like how many of these people locked in are locked in because they want to be and not just because they're stuck in a system it almost is funny because the grind with this twitch and streaming and things like that is just 